everybody. Welcome into the vlog. I hope you're all having a great day. Unfortunately, it looks like a couple of my snakes are not having that great of a day. It looks like we have mites, which is really unfortunate, you know, and it really is my fault that we have mites right now because I, I kind of took a shortcut and it goes against all the codes and everything we know we're supposed to do as responsible keepers, but I wanted to share it with you. So in case you got the idea that you should cut a corner, maybe you won't do that because I took a risk and now I'm paying the price for it and I've got to clean out all of my snakes now instead of just one. What I failed to do was I went to a show with the purpose of buying one extra snake and I ended up coming home with two extra snakes uh, completing two breeding projects I want to do instead of just one and I did that knowing if I got two I really should get one more quarantine enclosure to make sure that nothing like this happens guaranteed. I ended up getting kind of rushed out of the show I had my kids with me you know it's no excuse but you know, it started to feel rushed at the show and we kind of just got everything and got out of there. I made it home, I had the snakes and I was like, well, it'll probably be okay. What are the chances that one of these guys has mites? Let's just put them all together. And you know, we've had them together for a while now and I started noticing my other snakes starting to soak, which they don't ever soak, not even before a shed. And now they are. So I looked closely and lo and behold, I found some mites. So let me show you to see if we can see what they look like. All right, so this is Heidi. And let's see if we can see any here on the camera. So you can see right there, there's a little mite just crawling on the top of Heidi. So that's what we really wanna to work to get rid of. I'm going to treat them today and I'm gonna show you how I'm doing it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is get the snakes out of the cage. I'm gonna start with my girl Heidi here and she's one of the newer additions to the collection. She is actually a het for piebald. She is a normal, but again, being het for piebald, she's gonna make some absolutely incredible babies and I really can't wait till that's done. But first, we gotta get mama healthy so that way she can breed, do her thing very comfortably. So this is Heidi and we're gonna go ahead and get Heidi all taken care of and cleaned up and she'll be the first one to get it done. Next up is my girl Freya here. She's right underneath Heidi. We'll get her cleaned up real good. I don't see a whole lot of mites in her enclosure, so hopefully that's a good sign. We're catching them pretty early. And then next we've got our girl Queen Bee here. We only spotted a few in her cage as well. She's got, oh no, she has a lot. She's got mites all over her. Oh man, they're all over me. Look at that. Look at that. Yep, those are all the mites just crawling all over. Poor girl Queen Bee here is infested. You are not comfortable, are you, sweetie? All right, so that was actually a lot of mites we found on Queen Bee. That's not what we want to see, so. Uh, hopefully that's the worst one. They were all over my hand after that. Um, man, I'm really surprised it got this bad this fast. We have our girl Gracie here. And Gracie doesn't look to be as bad. Yep, there was a little mite just under the scale, so she did have a mite. Our boy Harvey here, he's our piebald ball python, and he's who we're going to be breeding with Heidi. You don't need to hiss at me, boy. Boss here's a little bit cranky, aren't ya? He's the only one to give me a little bit of hiss, but you know what? I'm here to just try to take care of you, buddy. I don't see any, oh, yep, there's a mite on you, right there. And if you can see that, I don't think you can. Oh, they're crawling on my hands again. All right, we're gonna put Boss in the last box. There you go. Actually, where's my spray bottle? I keep leaving it all the random places. All right, so that's all six snakes out of this enclosure. Now we're gonna clean out the tubs really good and spray them with our little solution that we got from Family Reptiles in Lakeland. Thank you, Scott. And we'll treat the bins for mites and I hope it will be good. We got a garbage bag. We got a garbage bag. We got a garbage bag. Hi.
All right, so I got all the cages nice and clean. You wanna make sure you do a spotless clean because you don't want a little mama mite being left in the bin. So here are the bins, nice, looking brand spanking new. As you can see, all six of them are looking great. So I sprayed them with my solution that again I got from Scott over at Family Reptiles. Thanks again, Scott. Uh, hopefully it works fantastic. Again, this is my first time actually having mites personally. So I decided to take this route because I know the solution is safe for the reptiles. I didn't want to risk with the other products like Ivermentin or I I can't think of the other names of the other ones right now, but I've read that they can give your snake neurological problems if you use too much. So I don't want to give something to my animals that are toxic and potentially dangerous. So I decided to take this route. Hopefully it works, we'll find out. All right, so what we're going to be using inside the bins instead of substrate is just puppy pads. So we wanna make sure if there's any more mites in there, we can clearly see them. We don't want them getting lost in the bedding and things like that. So we're gonna use the puppy pad and make sure we continue to use puppy pads until they're dead. The mites, not the snakes. You see all that? See all those little black dots? Those are all mites that are coming off my girl here. Poor Queen Bee. We got her going though. She's gonna be just fine. Now what we're gonna do is reintroduce each animal back to their bins. Now that the puppy pads are ready to go. We're going to spray each animal with the mite solution as we reintroduce them to their new environments. Or at least as we try. I got her all sprayed. <laughs> Come on, girl! Come on, girl! Get up in there! <laughs> Come on, girl! What you doing? She's crazy. She doesn't like the spray. Get your tail in there now, girl. <laughs> All right, a quick update. It's the next morning. I uh, just went through all the cages and see that Queen Bee, who had the most mites out of any snake by far, has a bunch of little dead mites in her cage now. So I wanted to show you what it looks like in the next morning already. So the treatment is definitely working. So I know the whole video wasn't really a step-by-step -step instruction on how I treated for the mites, but I will put a description of more of a step-by-step -step instruction in the video description below. Well, we got everybody cleaned up and put away back into their original cages, so they're gonna be just fine. Uh, again, I really want you guys to take my experience and take that as a lesson learned for yourself, please. Don't cut the corners. Like I said, I went to the reptile show. I got a little bit stressed out inside the show. Got one extra snake than I was planning for. Um, so I deviated from the plan, which is never really a good idea either. And brought the snakes home, kind of stressed out about where I'm gonna put them because I know I need to quarantine them. Uh, I ended up getting to the house and just said, I'm gonna just put them together. What are the chances that they have mites? So I put them in the bin together and now I'm paying the price. So please, I beg you guys, quarantine your animals when you get them away from all the rest of your animals to make sure that you keep them all safe and you don't have to take all the time I just did to treat it for mites. And I'm gonna be dealing with this for the next several weeks. But the good news is this is a treatable condition and it is just something we have to deal with as keepers of reptiles. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you now know how to treat for mites should you be stuck with them yourself, which I hope not. So thanks again for checking out our vlog. Please do me a big favor. I'm a brand new channel still and really would appreciate your support. I wanna keep doing this for everybody and grow the channel. So please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and turn the post notifications on. You guys have an excellent day.